What's up, what's up? That's my wedge. Yo, what's up, man? On my way to work. About to head out the door. Just wanted to uh, talk about this uh, Floyd Mayweather and uh, Adrian Bronner situation. Um, at first, when you think about it, it seemed like it's laughable, you know. But after it sit on me for about a week, I, I decided to consider it. Um, Floyd, I'm happy for Floyd to be able to uh, be an example of a great career in boxing. The best example of a career. Um, to come out unhurt. But it would be real sad to see him lose his athleticism so bad and his desire um, wanting to fight even though um, athletically. See, once athletically you're gone, your skill works, but at a slow pace. And, you know, somebody like Adrian Bronner, who's never really proved his point. He never really proved his mastery of this game. Um, all the money that he's earned, he's never proved to deserve it to the point where he earned it because of his his skill. Um, his athleticism is good, but the point I want to make about Adrian is that he's um, immature in boxing. He's uh, irresponsible. You know, he um, he's irresponsible in the game. You know, like some people don't master their art and they can hurt themselves or they can hurt other people. Adrian Bronner um, never got hold of his talent. Um, we saw that when Madonna um, rocked him and took him out of his comfort zone. And he could never, even though he had the ability to beat Madonna physically, but he could never grab back his senses, um, his composure, you know. But to see Floyd come back and fight somebody like Bronner, I kind of don't really feel it, Floyd, you know, because it's, I want Floyd to come back. We need Floyd. But one thing, he is getting older, okay? So the athleticism dies so don't come back and you know make us say this is the last time Floyd you know if you're gonna come back come correct and I'm just feeling a little suspicious about you fighting somebody like Bronner who's irresponsible in his skill and basically someone who's never come to the table in full effect uh, Bronner always um uh, never gives us um, his best before the fight, in training. Uh, maybe it could be a mental thing, I don't know. But Bronner always falls short of being spectacular. He uh, has great attributes, great athleticism. He even has ring experience and knowledge. But Bronner just doesn't have the maturity to uh, be responsible of being the king. Uh, Mayweather, on the other hand, is pushing his envelope. He keep pushing his limits. And, you know, like uh, Bernard Hopkins says one time, you you know, once you did everything, you ain't got nothing else to do but to lose. Once you go up so high, you know, there's nothing else to do but come down. So, um, Floyd, do you. Do your thing. You know, I believe in you. I believe you could still come back and school a lot of these guys. But what I'm saying is, why Bronner out of all the people? Um, I don't really see a benefit in this fight. But, you know, for the entertainment's sake, I think 
Mm, I don't know. I, I didn't really think I, I should do some more research on how this going to turn out. But hold on. Let me think about it. I'll get right back. Okay, I'm back. Yo, I think it'll be like, um, oh, man, I can't. The guy's name on the tip of my tongue, he, he, he's from um, Haitian. He's from, um, he's a Haitian. Oh, uh, what is his name? Wow. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all true fans out there. But, yo, he's from Haitian, Haiti. And um, I was actually at one of his fights in L.A. But, um, oh, man, I can't remember his name. Um, uh, wow. I met his uh, cook and everything, his chef. Uh, we had a lot of fun down there. Um, wow. Amir Khan is on his team. I met their chef. Their chef was sitting down talking to me. But anyway, you notice this young man. Well, he fought Floyd Mayweather with the same ability as um, compared to Adrian Bronner. They, they they both have spontaneous punches, meaning they 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 got quick twitch muscles. You know they 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 punch very fast and explosive. Um, Adrian Bronner is not as strong as my man from Haiti, but um, you know he don't have that explosive power like my man. But Adrian Bronner is fast and he can hit you and and hurt you. Um, but just like my man from Haiti, he's not going to touch Floyd Mayweather because of his footwork. Um, Floyd's footwork is underestimated. The people just don't know how smooth this guy with his feet. That keeps him out of a lot of trouble. Um, and you know, um, so I don't. I, I I don't see this being a great great match. Um, I don't see Floyd allowing anybody to hit him. You know, only person he let hit him is that wrestler or the uh, MMA guy. You know, he let him hit him, you know, from not being prepared and taking a few shots. But he's not going to let a boxer hit him. Um, Floyd's going to prepare enough to not get hit. So it's going to be a fight like that, man. It's not going to be any action. Um, Floyd... What's the good from this fight for Floyd? In Floyd's case, um, he could show us his mastery of, uh, you know, hit and not get hit, you know. Bronner is just going to get another paycheck and help him with his personal issues that he's going through, you know. He need a lot of help in the, in the outside the ring, you know. He need focus. But... That's neither here nor uh, here nor there. So, you know, just my take on it, man. Much love to Adrian, um, Adrian Bronner and much love to Floyd Mayweather. You know, I wish y'all both safety first, defense first. Ask my web, YouTube. Peace.